Welcome back to Hayes Tech, everybody. Uh, we are going to go over a kernel today. Uh, not so much a ROM. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Uh, this is Blackbird Kernel. You guys know this is my go-to kernel. Um, there was a there was an update um, to version 2.2.2 .2 .2, uh, not too long ago, uh, and I can tell you guys right now that I'm running uh, or I have tested uh, Revintex. Uh, latest version this version right here uh, i've tested it on just about every rom uh, out for the nexus 6 uh, and i've had no issues at all um, there are no uh, audio issues like uh, most all of the other custom kernels had not just blackbird but all of them uh, when we had that issue with google's uh, release here a couple months ago uh, well actually at the first of the year um, we don't have that issue anymore uh, I am uh, showing this on, of course, <laughs> uh, Frankie's latest release of uh, 6ROM. Um, so uh, I need a good base to show this on, and I figured I'd, uh, I'd pick this one here. Uh, what I'm going to do is, if you guys are running this kernel, um, I highly suggest a kernel auditor mod. Uh, this is the one that uh, is from XDA. Uh, you can get the one from the Play Store, but I highly recommend... Uh, this one, there's another one out, and by God, I always forget the name, um, but uh, um, it's the one that you get uh, built right in the ROM. Uh, Resurrection Remix has it. Quite a few other uh, ROMs have it. Uh, there's a, a certain developer out there that's taken this and just expanded on it, uh, but this is the one that I like to use. Uh, it's just straight kernel auditor mod. Uh, you can go to XDA, do a search. You know, I might even put a link in the description for you guys to find it. Um, again, I'm not going to go over uh, a lot of technical features uh, in the kernel. I don't claim to be uh, anywhere near uh, a professional uh, when it comes to kernels. I don't know that much about kernels. Uh, I just know uh, from what I know as a user on my end, okay? Uh, but what I thought I would do is I would show you uh, a lot of the, uh, or I'd show you all the features uh, in the kernel um, and just go through them, let you guys see them. Uh, governors, so on, uh, so you can see what the changes were uh, and maybe if you want to run it or not, all right? Um, so far, this is how it's been running for me. I'm telling you guys right now, I've had great battery, uh, you know, life. And when I say that, it, this is going to be different for every single device, guys. You can't go by, uh, you know, how my phone works or even now I'm recording. Um, I've got a mic uh, that's being powered by the device. Um, I've got my brightness, or did have my brightness all the way up. Nope, I don't. Uh, brightness all the way up for the video. Um, and, uh, of course, I'm recording in 1080p. So, so my battery is going to drain, guys, uh, just so you realize that. Now, I've intentionally not set the kernel up. Um, so you guys can see how I go through and set my kernel up. Uh, or set Revintech kernel up, Blackbird. Uh, but I wanted you guys to see all the features in it first. Um, so, again, this is under CPU. These are features that you're going to get uh, under the CPU. Uh, these are your min-max uh, settings for your CPU frequencies. Uh, it goes all the way up to 2880. Um, and uh, these are your minimum frequencies. Again, you can set that however you want. Uh, yes, I do run 35 um, um, hertz. Uh, you know, I run it all the way down to 35 sometimes, guys. I don't have an issue with it. I've heard other people say that you can't do that. I don't have any issues with it. Uh, these are the governors that come uh, supplied with the kernel, and there are uh, a pile of them. They're all very well uh, known governors. Uh, they're known to work well. Uh, Revintech wouldn't put them in the kernel if they weren't good uh, governors. He does a lot of testing. Uh, he has a lot of people that test for him too um, to get a lot of feedback from different people, devices, you know, uses, and so on. So these are the kernels. Um, I'm telling you guys right now, I, I, I either use Conservative or ZZ Max or ZZ Move. Uh, those are the two that I use, depending on what I want to do with it. Um, these are your, uh, your, your governor tunables. Of course, you have to have a governor uh, picked in order to uh, tune them. Uh, let's see. Let me just scroll down here and let you guys see. Um, you have your sync, uh, your sync threshold. Uh, these are your settings for that. Uh, I don't mess with any of this, guys. This is something that I don't do. Um, again, this is for more experienced users. I, I don't have 
I don't have to go that far to get a good experience. Uh, let's go to CPU voltage again, guys. This is just basically where you go to uh, uh, if you want to uh, undervolt or overvolt. Um, I, I tend not to mess with the volting. Uh, I do undervolt sometimes, um, but just so you guys know, if you're going to try undervolting or overvolting or actually any changes to the kernel, do not hit apply on boot until you've run N22 uh, all the way through. I would run it a couple of times and, and your device doesn't just shut off. Uh, or it doesn't kill the app. Um, because if you set that to apply on boot and your, your changes are wrong, it's going to keep applying that on boot and you're going to have to, uh, you know, you're going to have to probably reflash or wipe your data. So just a little warning. Uh, don't, don't hit that button until uh, you know for sure it's going to work. Uh, these are your CPU hot plugs. You have your, uh, your MP uh, decision, uh, make a hot plug, of course, which is the one I run. Uh, auto SMP uh, and then your state helper. Uh, under thermal, these are your settings for that. GPU settings, um, I normally run mine at 600. I'm going to go ahead and lock that in. Uh, GPU governors, now, those are the different governors you guys can choose from. I usually go with uh, MSN uh, Adreno TZ. That's the one I stick with. It's the supplied governor, and that's the one I use. Uh, I don't use gaming mode neither, um, you know, but I'm just saying that's just me. You guys can do with what you want, depending on the governor you're using. You know, I, I can see where that would work. I'd probably want to overvolt a little bit. That's just my opinion. I don't, you know, like I said, I'm not a professional, guys. Um... But these are the rest of the settings uh, under your GPU. These are your screen settings. Again, this is one of the reasons I like to use uh, Kernel Auditor Mod. Uh, it gives you these settings. Um, and, of course, uh, Blackbird Kernel does support uh, changing the uh, color options. Right now we're at stock. I usually like to go with uh, the uh, Volmer uh, Deep Rich. Um, and sometimes, depending on the ROM I'm on, I'll either go with Perfection or Obsanity. Obsanity is more like um, as flashed, but just a little richer on the black. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and stick with Obsanity. That's what I like about that. You can either uh, set it up however you want, or you can go with a preset value, uh, which you know they have names for them, which is really cool. So that's what I like about uh, the uh, Kernel Auditor mod. Um, you have your weight controls. I need to get a drink. And we have our sound controls. I usually click that on. Uh, take my microphone gain up. Of course, that's probably going to screw with the video. <laughs> um, and I'll, I usually like to set my volume at about plus five. Lock that in. Uh, power and battery. Whoops. Hit the wrong one. Uh, power and battery. This does come with the uh, USB fast charge, which I like. Just remember, guys, that, you know, I can't, it's not proven, but whenever you do use fast charge all the time, uh, it's probably not the best thing for your battery. Uh, every once in a while, you do want to get a nice slow charge in. Mm. Figure I'll just tap a couple of these. See, I don't mess with any of these settings. When I set it up, you'll see how I set mine up. But I figured I'd, you know, scroll down, let you guys see what's uh, what's down here. Scheduler. Now, this is uh, this is one of the things I like. Um, I can't remember what version it was. Whether it was uh, 2.1. Um, or 2.0. It might have been the, the first 2.1 that came out uh, when he started using Maple uh, as the as flashed um, uh, scheduler. I like Maple. I don't mess with it. I, I leave that on there. Um, it's working great for me. I have no problems with the kernel. Everything's fluid. Um, so that's what I use. But these are the settings for your uh, I.O. scheduler if you guys are into that. Uh, your kernel sampling merger. Again, this is something, uh, one of the settings I don't use. Uh, low memory killer. Um, if you guys really want to get the best out of your kernel, I really suggest that you read up on it. 
there are links on uh, Reventex XDA um, site, uh, or you can just Google it uh, and just you know learn about kernels, learn about all these settings, and you can really do a lot with them. Virtual memory. Again, this is just another area that I don't mess with. I don't need to. It it all it comes uh, set up. You know, uh, Reventex sets it up just right, at least for my device. Uh, then, of course, you have your wake locks. You guys can get in here and uh, work with that. And entropy. Miscellaneous controls. This is going to be where you can toggle SE Linux uh, permissive or enforcing. Uh, it depends on, you know, if you want to run that way or not. Uh, and it will toggle it for you. Uh, I, usually, I usually like to run permissive. Uh, that's just the way I like to run mine. Uh, but those are your settings under there for your miscellaneous. You have your vibration, you know, all that. Uh, logging, you know. Usually the only settings I use here are to make sure that I have uh, permissive on SE Linux and uh, I like to adjust my, uh, my vibration strength here because I can set it up to apply on boot and I know it's always going to be set right. And then under tools, I'm not going to go through all, but you have your backup, your build prop editor, which is a nice feature to have. If you guys know how to uh, tweak a build prop, uh, you can do it through this. Uh, it works good. Um, but just remember to make a backup because you can really screw up your device if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, and then under settings, this is going to be your uh, settings for uh, this app, basically. Not for the kernel, but for the app. So, uh, right, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go through and set up the kernel uh, for the way I use it. So, first up, I go to CPU, uh, and I go to my maximum frequency, and I'm going to scroll down here, and I'm going to hit 2688. Uh, that's normally where I like to run. And on my minimum, I go 35 megahertz. Uh, and the uh, governor, I'm going to go with uh, conservative. And I'm just going with conservative just because I'm not really going to be playing games, anything like that. Uh, although ZZ, uh, I've run it as well in the, uh, in the lower settings, and it works great. Uh, it just seems um, that the hot plugging works a little bit better with the conservative, for me, anyways. Um, and since I already know that this is going to work on my device, these settings right here, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply on boot. Uh, then I'm going to go to my CPU hot plug settings. I'm going to pick Mako hot plug. Uh, I'm going to go with my uh, CPU frequency unplugged limit. Scroll down here, and I'm going to go with 2496. Uh, then my high load counter. I'm going to drop down to three. Uh, my load threshold at 90, and uh, my max load counter at 50. And then the uh, min time, CPU online, one, timer, one, and then I'm going to hit apply on boot. Remember, guys, you don't want to hit apply on boot until you know for sure it's working. Now, I always like to go back to my CPU just to make sure that it is definitely hot plugging the uh, CPU cores, and uh, yeah, as you can see, I have two out. Now, if I put a demand on it, uh, it should pick up the other cores, uh, but right now, it's not really pulling much of a demand. So, uh, next setting is going to be with my GPU. I already set it, but I always go to 600 as opposed to the 800. Uh, and I apply on boot. That's the only other setting I do under GPU. Um, I already showed you my screen setting. You know, this is, you guys, it's a preference. You know, personal preference thing. Do with it what you want. Uh, under sound settings, again, I showed you that. Uh, but these are my sound settings. Uh, power and battery, again, I did show you, but I'm just going through my settings, uh, how I set it up, and this is how I set it up. So uh, I would hit uh, USB fast charge um, and, you know, hit apply on boot. Uh, I.O. scheduler, I want to make sure I have Maple uh, chosen, uh, and I don't hit anything else. Apply on boot. And that's it. Uh, the only other thing I do is miscellaneous, and I go uh, make sure SE Linux is under uh, permissive, and that uh, my vibration strength is down to wherever I want it. Right now I'm videoing. I want it at zero, and apply and boot. And that's it, guys. Um, I can tell you right now, uh, again, I, I have, <laughs> this is my favorite kernel. I keep coming back to it. I test. You guys know I test pretty much everything that's out there. 
Um, and I, I get it. Other kernels have features that are cool too, uh, but it just seems that this kernel works with my device. So I always come back to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close the video out. I just wanted to let you guys see that there, there was an update, what was in it. Uh, this was uh, uh, Blackbird uh, version 2.2.2 uh, built by Reventech. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I want to thank all of my subscribers, and I will see you guys on the next one.